Hi, my name is Donovan Flowers. I'm an attorney in Tyler, Texas with the Flowers Law Firm. We handle insurance claims and hailstorm claims across the state of Texas. And today I want to talk to you a little about uh, things that you can do as a homeowner to protect your property, but also to protect yourself in the event that there's an insurance claim. Uh, over the years, uh, I've personally handled hundreds and hundreds of, of, of first party insurance cases from uh, hurricane cases down in the Houston and Gulf Coast area to hailstorm cases up in North and East Texas and all the way out to El Paso. And there's a few things that I've learned and I've seen that people can do to protect their property and protect themselves in the event that a hailstorm or a hurricane claim comes about, or even a fire loss or a pipe burst claim. With relation to the outside of your property, there's a couple things you can do. You can clean your gutters. Uh, make sure that there's no leaves and trash or things like that in your gutters because if there is, it clogs it up and water can overflow. Uh, and this is one of the things that insurance adjusters look for to blame the, the homeowner as opposed to blaming the hailstorm or, or damage causing event. Another thing you should do is check your windows. Go actually walk up to your windows, look around, make sure that the seal around the actual windows and the window panes are good seals. If you see evidence of water damage, find out why. Um, go around the outside of your property, trim your trees, make sure that they're back from the house a little bit. This will help protect you in the event that a big limb falls out of a tree and won't hit your house. Um, one of the the most important things you can do in this whole process is take pictures of everything, okay? Walk around your house, take pictures, uh, take pictures of the window sills, the gutters, um, all of your personal belongings, just document, document, document. Over the years, one of the things I've seen is insurance adjusters will say that this was pre-existing damage or damage that was present on the property before the storm. Take a picture of your roof before a storm, and then right after the adjuster will come out, look at your roof, and they'll be able to compare apples to apples. Without pictures, uh, it makes it more difficult, and it gives the insurance adjuster a reason to deny your claim or to claim that it was pre-existing damage when you know it was certainly not. Um, another thing to do is it helps to inventory your personal belongings. If you um, have a hurricane coming or if you have a, a large uh, hail event or even a tornado claim, uh, what tend to ha tends to happen is there's a lot of damage on the inside of a house to the personal property and if you have pictures of all of your personal belongings it makes making the inventory for the insurance company easier but it also makes it harder for the insurance company to say anything negative or to dispute the, your actual possession of of those items. These are just a few tips and tricks that I've learned over the years having handled hundreds and hundreds of these types of cases. Uh, obviously there's more. If you have questions about an insurance claim, be it a hailstorm claim, a pipe burst claim, a fire claim, a tornado claim, whatever the insurance claim may be, even an uninsured, uninsured, underinsured motorist claim, call the Flowers Law Firm. We have the experience, we've done it before, we can answer your questions. And if you need a lawyer, we can uh, stand up for your rights. Our number is 903-965-2000. Our office is in Tyler, Texas, a couple of blocks south of the, uh, the courthouse. But we practice uh, across the state of Texas, and we've handled uh, insurance cases across the state of Texas. So just give us a call, 903-965-2000. Thank you.